Let's start by reflecting what the newspapers are saying today. Top columnists uh, in the, uh, on the sofa here today from the Independent, Yasmin Alibi Brown, and the Associate Editor of the Daily Mirror, Kevin McGuire. Very Morning. good scene. Morning. Uh, the headlines we're going with, uh, blockbusters, um, they're saying, for instance, in the sun here. Uh, is it as you would wish, Yasmin? Yes, but not enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's yes. still, I think for the Conservative Party, and actually all parties, mm -hmm. they've got a lot. We were, we're 52% of the population, we women. And it seems to be extraordinary that in the 21st century, we're crawling along in this way, and everybody thinks it's a wonderful success story. There are only two more full cabinet um, Secretary of State who, according to many of the papers, will be wearing dresses, sometimes up to the thigh. That's what they focused well, on. Did, 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 did you object to that? I do object to women being described in that way, yes. They're there well, because women. they're very clever. Well, all the, the women, women the women are this morning are and estimate they with showing, you know, winds blow and showing... Oh, don't look so disappointed. No, no, <laughs> I, no. I think it's a very interesting point here, right? I think politicians in general are rubbish at the way they dress. And I'm talking about men as well as women here. I look at her and I say, and, and uh, this is um, Esther we're talking about in particular here, she cuts a good style. Does that make her a bad person? Why are you worried about no, that? No, she's not a bad person. The people who only see that come mm -hmm. to it. Eventually, you know, when they've done their bit, on the day when they've made it, yeah. you know, at least talk about their achievements. I know, but she did doll herself up because it was a big day. Yeah, and she, and she was not really. That's it. She dolled herself <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, and, she, and she was posing there on the, on the step. She wasn't posing. Was no, that, she wasn't posing. She was walking. She was walking sorry. to number 10. Sorry. Yeah. The sorry. wind sorry. took a little turn. <laughs> sorry. She came out the door of number 10 and she went, Sorry, we need that in the long shot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, she went. She didn't do that. Yeah, she's sorry. Did she, Kevin, she's did she do that or not? She, she did. I don't, you know, I don't have a and, problem and, with her. Neither do I. Here we are, already talking about no. what she's wearing no. now. She's going, not no, that she's no. now going to be no. in the cabinet. I'm very proud of her. I know her very well. Mm -hmm. And what I'm saying is, I think men should follow her example and dress as well because British politicians are really dirty. Compare them to Clinton, compare them to Obama, compare them to what we see. And it is image. A lot of it is image. And yeah. the men do but not men, know how to dress. Men, men, yes, men never get the press, do they? What no, is I want to another headline to say. Oh, no, oh, chested, Ken Clark. Tom whatever is in the cabinet. Yeah. The man with these wonderful hairy arms. Look at that. You know, you don't get that. Yes, hairy arms are lovely. Why aren't we focusing the cameras on a hairy armed cabinet? Because they're all lovely. <laughs> Hang on. Excuse me. Ken, Ken, Clark, Ken Clark looks, or looked, if he's hushed puppies, went on about him. He looked as if he'd been dressed by an exploding Oxfam shop and clothes had just been thrown on his body. We often discuss that. Women discuss that. Men discuss no, that. Of course you can discuss their the achievements, point. their abilities. They don't do the yeah. independent, but they do on this morning. I'm no, 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 I watch this issue. morning when I'm in the gym, <laughs> and I am often very applauding you. I don't applaud you on what you just said, because these women didn't get in because they were very nice. I didn't nice say they did. No, I didn't say are, they did, but I think it's an aspect of their job and what they do, and I think it's something that should be applauded in Esther McVeigh's case. That's what I'm saying, not derided. No, I think it's wrong, because Anne Widdicombe, whom I couldn't stand for the politics, again, was the focus was on how she looked, and it was wrong. But it was the focus on Michael Foote was how he looked all the time over his policies. Am I right? Oh, it was. Uh, yeah, that was really that is yeah. 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 He looked like Wurzel Gummidge, and, and that was common. But, but it was that, that there, there have been accusations that this is just token females. You know, David Cameron says vote winners. This is the election coming up. He knows he needs more women. They're not there just because, you know, they're good at the job. What, what do you think about that? I think David Cameron's finally woken up that your cabinet has to look a bit more like the country as a whole. And so you need more women. They've got to be able to do their jobs. And I think these women are as able as some of the men they've, uh, they've replaced. Better but, you want, but you want to be representative in that way. That's why he's promoted them. And let's hope it's not window dressing. And he didn't just pose for photographs with them. And he lets them do their, do their jobs. We'll only find that down the line. But he, he did become Dave the Sexist. Yeah. some of his comments about women, and, and that hurt him. Look, so by and needs, large, we all agree it's a good thing, thing. It's not good enough as a, a start. It's a very it's a good, good thing. Start. Start. Too long coming. Now, what do you mm. make of this one? Uh, the penalty for using a mobile phone while driving could be doubled. At the moment, if you get caught, you get three points on your licence. Plans are for getting six points on your licence. Yeah, I was there yesterday when the Transport Secretary, Patrick McLaughlin, wearing a very nice dark navy blue suit and white tail. <laughs> 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 I was like a pixelated estimate out of that, so it wouldn't cause any offence. <laughs> when, he, when, he, when he did say this, and he, 
And the reason the reason he said is actually using a mobile phone texting is more dangerous driving than if you're taking cameras. Oh. And there are 23 people a year who die from people using their phones. And the law often isn't enforced, which is what the RAC says. Yeah, say. that's the problem. Yeah. I, I'm absolutely yeah. horrified when I see the amount of people, not just on their phone, but texting, where they're not even looking at the road. I think it's all dreadful, and I think it should yeah. be an automatic ban, in my opinion. It's gone up, I think, but as well. But it's how they enforce it. You it, don't have enough police officers on the streets to to I think this the road is where we should have a sleepless charter. We should allow drivers to text. Or um, take a photograph of or, or something. So you're just using your phone. Yeah. Yes, but the passenger could do it. But I just think you're right. It's there's not enough enforcement in the not the number of dangerous situations you find yourself in. Yeah. It's well, the children yeah. are at the back of the car and you are. We're all agreed that's rubbish as well. So um, I think yes, yeah, points. I mean good. that's terrible. Yeah, and and obviously what Jeremy Hunt proposes to do today, uh, bring in special measures for failing care homes. Yeah. Yeah. I presume we're all agreed that's a good thing. Too. Absolutely. Just those as hospitals, you can have inspectors sent in. Same with schools of their failing. The problem with care homes, and we've heard some dreadful stories of be people being neglected or abused, vulnerable and elderly you people. You see the footage, it's harrowing. It, you know, it breaks your heart. But the problem is, there's 25,000 of these homes. Will you have enough people to get around that? Some of them are very good. Uh, we shouldn't tar them all with the same brush. But those, when they fail, they fail in a spectacularly cruel way. But, but they're saying hospitals have been put under special mm. measures. And they've had some success, and which yes. I'm very surprised about. Yeah. And for me, you've got, you know, I have my father was in two care homes. Yeah. And for me, it's got to be spot checks. I don't think you can have notice and say, we're coming next week to inspect your care home. I think it's got to be spot checks. It's like you said, you've got to have enough people to be doing it. That's right. Otherwise, it's like a royal visit. And, you know, yeah. they must think everything smells of fresh paint. You know, yeah. like that. The whole thing everything all. smelling of yeah. roses and failing and whatever. There's this head teacher. Her name is Rachel Tomlinson oh. from Barrafield Primary School in Nelson. And uh, she sent her pupils with key stage two test results. And she basically sent this lovely letter, mm -hmm. which says that tests do not always assess what makes them special and unique. Can I be controversial here? I knew. <laughs> I have to be controversial. I'm sorry. Everybody's going to say, yes, that's lovely. And the kids will say, yes, that's lovely. Because instinctively, as kids at 10 years of age, we're lazy. We don't want to do things. We want everybody to say, don't worry, you didn't pass that, Jimmy but wasn't your fault because you're special. You're a lovely sort of person. The real world, when these kids get out into the real world, they're going to be given tests, assessments, all sorts of things. Real life is not like that. They that's when they get out them, into the world. They should do many exactly. favours. And anyway, the world, no. more of the world should be like that. I think we've got too many systems in place now where it's in workplaces where the dominant culture is bullying. That if we bully workers, they'll, they'll produce better. Actually, try it the other way. The most modern thinking now in the US is actually make your people feel good about working for you. Hey, but I bet you go around encouraging people. I do. You think and that's all that head teacher yeah. is doing. These yeah. kids are what, age 10 or 11, just sat there. Well, we're so I, think that. We're I knew he yeah. would say this, is that if they failed, yeah. you don't say, oh, never mind, you failed the test, but you're really good at the piano. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but there are loads see, of jobs aiming now no, where the people's skills, if you get on with people, that, but that's how you advance. A lot of kids don't even get an interview with jobs because they have to fill in these forms. If you apply to the BBC, yeah. try it. You fill in the form, which then says, you're not yeah. suitable for an interview yeah. because you do some sort of psychic side. I don't know what the heck it is they do not is. They do them for Tesco. They do them for all the big yeah. the big companies. Now, real life's not like that. But real life also isn't this culture of, te you know, keeping people's spirits down. Mm -hmm. um, and I think this is lovely. Actually, it's I so it's sweet. Lovely. I just and want I to wish she was my teacher when I was young because I had a very hard time when I was in school. But and would you wonder would you have studied hard under her? Would you have thought? No, no, my mother was the one who was hard you enough might, at home. Yeah, but Mrs. Mrs. Tomlinson would have been really good to it. doesn't a, matter if I don't get an A star, Mrs. Tomlinson won't shout up. We've had a lot of comments, I'm sure, in the hub. Jenny's in the hub this morning. People, what are people saying about the teacher, Jenny? Yeah, we have had lots of comments. Good morning, by the way. Uh, people love what head teacher Rachel Tomlinson has done. What do you think? I have a theory. Yeah, the I have a theory. Like it, like I reckon Michael Gove saw that letter <laughs> and yes, decided to go. He said, "I give up now. There's nothing more I can do. It's the head or it's me. Well, it's been him. He's gone now. The head's won." It's time for you to go now as well. So oh. Thank you very much. But you've been good lovely. You've been you were really good. As newspapers of yours go, you tried your best, yeah. and that's all we can have. You won. But no, it's not, no, it's not. No, it's not. I just want to encourage you. That's, that's <laughs> as long as you've got a GCSE in woodwork, you've done all right. <laughs>